G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Do you know what, this sword hoodie, you do get warm in it. I was uh, a little bit concerned because of it being so thin about how it would go. I even bought my down jacket and stuffed it down in the bottom of the pack just in case I was going to need it. But whilst walking, definitely don't need it. Now it's starting to get warm in this jacket. I've taken my gloves off. I've opened my pockets to let air into them. Next is I'll just undo the zips on the side. About this way, I reckon in about another half hour. Oh, excuse the camera then. I'm gonna have to take it off. Let's see if I can get to the zip without taking the pack off. Oh, there it is. Got it. So there's no pit zip on this one. And I'm just walking into some smoke. I don't know if you can see the smoke there. It's had a controlled burn. And this is what's left of it. Okay, since I've undone the side zips of this sword hoodie, I can feel myself cooling down. I haven't dropped down into the valley a little bit whilst I'm walking, but I can actually feel the coolness coming in. So that's nice, I'll just give it a tug up to make like a, uh, a mouth on, on it, because my belt of my pack is holding it in place and it lets even more coolness in as so I'm going down a bit of a precarious bit here so what I could do with this where they've done this, they could have put a mesh inside the pocket so I can unzip the pocket to let even more air out if I want to get too warm but still it's a, it's a good little hoodie stroke jacket. Another thing I've just done to make the sword hoodie cooler is with these being unzipped I've actually put them in front of the belt of my backpack. So now that whole front panel at the bottom is getting fresh air coming straight through. So I'm not going to be perspiring as much. Which, excuse me, not looking at the camera. I'm climbing up a hill and I'm not using walking poles, so I'm having to be a little bit more careful. Now I'll be using this jacket like until tomorrow. I'm doing an overnighter out on the Bill Woman track. And temperatures are going to get down to around a zero, I believe. So let's see how it works with my layering system. And hopefully I won't need to get my down jacket out to warm it up. Down at the top of one of the uh, hills, there's a 
bit of a cold breeze. And this sword hoodie. I can feel the temperature difference slightly, but my body's not actually getting cold from where it's been perspirating. Uh oh, that's another tick. Or should I say another box ticked on the boxes that need to be ticked for this jacket. Like I said, tonight's going to be the test, when it gets really cold, how's this going to work? My other layers. Get a sword hoodie. How's it coping? Now, you can feel the temperature going down now, the sun's nearly down all the way. And I'm just beginning to feel the cold coming through my jacket. So I feel my face is cold and bring my hands out, I can feel the cold in the air. So it's probably down to about, I don't know, feels like about eight or nine degrees centigrade at the moment. So let's say, let's say 10, so what's that then, say 20, so that's 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So not the coldest, but still. With just this jacket on and a single layer of a one of the hiking shirts, just a nylon thing, I'm starting to feel the cold. But up to this point, I'm quite surprised of how well it's been doing. Uh, I'll leave it there now until the morning. Thirty-five in the Australian bush on the Birmingham track, and the sword jacket is doing well. I think, like I said earlier in the video, that as long as you're active, or well, as long as I've been active, I've been able to get away with not putting any more layers apart from my hiking shirt underneath. So I'm just climbing up the hill, back up to the ridge. But yeah, sitting around in this temperature, it's what, 6.25 in the morning. And it feels like it's not much above freezing point. So, the jacket's doing well. Okay, you can see behind, it's starting to get light. And I'm about 10 minutes away from my pickup point. <coughs> I just want to thank you all for following my channel and watching my videos and if this is the first video or you haven't subscribed already please go down below and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell next to that and click on the like button too and share it with all your mates and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care.